Hi everyone. Today I'm going to help you set up your OverDrive app. A lot of you have been using OverDrive just through the OverDrive website and that re works really well if you just like to read your books right online in either Safari or Google. But sometimes you want to download the content so that you don't need a Wi-Fi connection. And to do that, you have to install the app. So the first thing you need to do is find the OverDrive app in the App Store. It's a free app. You can search OverDrive. And the OverDrive app looks like the icon we have here with the big circle. There are several steps to setting up your OverDrive app. So here's what you need to do. Open your app, and you're going to see some choices. You can sign up, or it says have an account, sign in, or I'm under 13 years old, continue. I want everyone to choose I'm under 13 years old, continue. Even if you are over 13, a middle schooler or a high schooler in Waukesha, it's easiest if you choose this choice. It has something to do with not having to set up an Adobe ID. So please choose continue. And on the next screen here, we're going to add our library. So we're going to click the three index lines at the top left, and then click the plus sign, add a library. And next we're going to search for Waukesha. We're going to get a list of schools in Waukesha that subscribe to OverDrive. Search, and then find your school in the list. I'm going to choose Hadfield as an example. Now my school, Hadfield, is added at the top. And to access my account, I'm just going to click on School District of Waukesha with the star. Here's our sign-in page, and this looks just like the website. So from now on, this is going to look pretty familiar to you. I'm going to sign in to my OverDrive account here, and I'm just going to use a sample student. And since you're going to set up your app on your own personal device, you can go ahead and click Remember My Login information on this device. It's going to make it a little easier for you the next time you log in. OverDrive is going to load up just like the website does with all of the book covers. And from here, you can choose different subjects. You can choose collections or you can search for a favorite book or author. If you're an elementary school student, the first thing I want you to do is go to collections and go to elementary titles, and that's going to get rid of all those middle school titles. Now I'm going to show you how to download some content to your um, device. So let's say we would like to read the best school year ever. I know it's checked in because the icon is dark black, Click this just like you normally would from the website and click borrow. Now this is checked out to us and I have two choices to read it. Just like on the website, I can read it in my browser and that needs an internet connection or now that I'm working through the app and my app is set, it, set up, I can download. So I'm going to show you how to download content. Click the arrow and you usually have two choices. Always choose the Adobe EPUB version. Click that and then you're going to get a message that says confirm and download. We're going to do that. And now the content, the book, is being added to our iPad. The tricky thing is where to find this content. And I'm going to show you where it is. Click on the three index lines in the top left and then click bookshelf. This is a tutorial about if you need to down, um, delete a book and return it, you just click and hold in the middle. But we understand those directions, so I'm going to say I got that. Here's my book, The Best Worst School Year Ever. I can click on the book, and the book's going to open. Here's a, a tutorial about turning the pages and things like that. I got that. And here's my book, and I'm going to swipe through the pages. Now, once I finish reading for the day, to get back to my OverDrive account, I can just click in the middle of the book until my index lines come up, and I can click at the top, 
and be returned to my account by clicking School District of Waukesha. That's about all there really is to um, using the OverDrive app. It just needs that little bit of setup at the beginning and uh, once you have the app set up you can download content. If you need to return things, here's what you do. You're going to click on your index lines again, find them under your bookshelf, and then just tap right on the middle of the cover until you get this and then you can say that you'd like to return that book. And that's all there is to using OverDrive. Please enjoy it.